To create the payroll checks, all we're going to have to do is go to payroll, paychecks, and generate paychecks. This is going to bring up a control to ask what the start date of the pay period is. So we're just going to go back and I'll just pick from the first and we'll go back to the 14th, for example. When are we going to write the check? I'm going to write the check on the 17th. And then the GL posting date is going to automatically default to the end date of the pay period. Now you can set that to whatever you want to, but that's the, the date it starts with. Now the system is going to ask what account we want to actually do the payroll from. So let's say that we're going to do it out of bank one. It really doesn't matter, but we choose the account and then it's going to give us a starting number for that particular checking account from setting. So it basically goes and grabs the next number for that checking account and brings it into here. Now, as I go through here and choose each of the employees, you'll notice that that check number is actually automatically increasing. So the system is recognizing the fact that that person needs a paycheck. They're not set as a direct deposit. If they are, it will actually deal with them and not increase the, the check number for them. But it'll go through and, and recognize who it is that we're actually writing the paychecks to. Now we also have an option here and we've got some notes that we can read to, to kind of help guide us in what we're doing. But we also can tell it to ignore direct deposits and create a check. And this is basically saying, look, I don't care who's set as a direct deposit on this list. I want to write a check to everybody. Once I get them, we're going to come up here and you also have a select and deselect for all employees if you want to use it. Now, once I get them all selected, I'm going to hit next up here at the top and the system is going to go out and generate a paycheck for each of the people that we selected. Now, if these amounts, for example, there's probably no time logged for this particular pay period for this particular employee, I can click on their name and I can come down here and change anything that I want to for that particular pay period. And the system will go through and recalculate all of the information that I have here for that particular employee. So this is where you can review their vacation time, their sick time, whatever it is that, that may have made up that paycheck amount, you can go in and tweak it. If there's uh, um, or bonuses or anything like that that apply, you can go in and apply them, check the box to apply it, put in the amount. One thing about bonuses that you might want to keep in mind is when you're setting the bonus up in payroll, and you can always go back and change it if you make a mistake, but you never know what the amount of the bonus is. So you don't want to put an amount for the bonus in the setup. What you want to do over there is put in a quantity of one. And then whatever amount I put in over here, it'll take that amount, multiply it times one, and it'll basically give you that for a bonus. So there's a few little tricks that you have to do in, in, with respect to some of those types of things. But again, if you set it up wrong and you come try to do the paycheck and it won't do it right, you just jump over there, make the change, come back, and, and it should reflect the proper amounts on the second go. So not a huge deal. And once you get it working, it's working. So once I get this Andrew set, I can click his name and it'll close that. You can see now he has payroll information. I can come in here and do the same thing for the next employee. And again, here they've got a bonus. So I could, for example, set a bonus and tell it that I wanted to give them a hundred dollar bonus. And this is a good example of the system being set incorrectly. You can see here, the amount says zero. So what's going to happen here is it's multiplying zero times 100. And so the total is zero. I'm not actually applying any bonus to his check because the settings are incorrect when whoever set this up. So again, fairly easy to fix. Go to employee setup over in the, the settings section and, and to tweak the bonus numbers. So that's pretty much it. You can make whatever changes you need to make, but the final information, once you've made those changes, this is our paycheck information. And so the final step is to just generate the paychecks. Now, one note about generating paychecks, all of the employees are going to get a check. Some of them may be EFTs because they're going to be electronically sent to the bank, but everybody's going to get a check in the checking account with all of their information and stuff on it. Um, the ones that need to be printed we'll cover in the next video, but just recognize the fact that every single employee will end up with a separate entry in your 
paycheck in your checking account and all of their accounting and payroll entries will be attached to that particular check so you can print it from over there or send them a copy of it from over there so all you got to do here is tell it to generate the paychecks and and that's pretty much it the, the system will go and do the rest now this is giving me an error because i'm in a training database and there's not enough information on the bank information for this particular employee um, somebody was set to a direct deposit and the uh, the system can't actually deposit the money but in any case when you hit the generate paychecks button it'll actually go out and uh, take care of that now let me see if i can very quickly it's brian so let's just delete him off of this thing and we'll go ahead and tell it to generate the paychecks and then i'll go over here to accounting checking view register we're in bank one and you can see the paychecks that have been generated here so the system you know pretty much takes care of everything uh, i'm gonna go ahead and open this up just to show you this just says payroll flush account is what it actually hit but if we open up the general uh, ledger i'm sorry not that one if we open up the gl hits for it you can actually see all of the different things that actually got hit with respect to that particular person's check